Hey guys, this is Truman Earl. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to install these new tactical Molly seat back covers. These are super awesome. They come in just the seat back cover as well as the headrest cover. You can buy one, the other, or both. These are super awesome and they're really easy to install once you know how to. And so I'm gonna run you through it today, show you how to throw these on your 4Runner. We're gonna start off with the headrest. This one's super easy. It comes with this provided Velcro strap. It's blackout, so it's super sleek. And then it comes with a full roll, so we're just gonna cut it in half and use two to wrap it around. So the Molly headrest cover is sideways like this. This is gonna be the most secure. And then there's two slits on the top and on the bottom. And then we're just gonna use these Velcros to thread them through and put them on a headrest. Okay, so we're just gonna take this Velcro roll and unroll all the way. And then we're just gonna fold it in half because you only need one per side. And then we're just gonna cut it right in the middle. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and take our headrest seat back molly cover and we're gonna take the Velcro, holding it sideways, so we're gonna thread it through the bottom loop and make sure the fuzzy side of the Velcro is on the outside. Thread it through and then back up through the top side. This way we are able to mount all your stuff without having to interfere with the Velcro and then it is nice and soft so your head isn't touching the sticky side. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side with the fuzzy side on the outside. I'm just gonna thread it in through the bottom hole and then back up through the top hole. Okay, so with everything threaded through, I just went ahead and stuck them to each other with a good amount of space in the middle because we're just gonna go ahead and take the headrest off the seat. It's a lot easier that way. I'm just gonna slip it into here and then we're gonna tighten down the Velcro. We come to find out that that's really easy because the Velcro likes to stick to each other when we're trying to put it on. So that's the easiest way. Okay, so we went ahead and just pulled off our headrest from the car. And then we're just going to flip it around and then we're going to slip in the headrest. And it's just going to sit just like this. And this is just the rough placement. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten them down with the Velcro straps. So once we have everything in place just how we like it, we just have this little excess bit right here that we don't need. And so we're just gonna go ahead and cut that off. And then we'll just reinstall the headrest. Okay, so now that we have the headrest tactical molly panel installed, we're just gonna go ahead and do the full seat back one with the two provided straps. Okay, so one strap is longer and one strap is shorter. The shorter one is for going up and around the headrest and securing the top. The longer one is going around the base of the seat and securing the bottom. So we're just gonna go ahead and start with the short one, which is around the headrest. The top and the bottom of the seat back cover are universal, so you can do it on whatever side you'd like. We're gonna go ahead and start with a short one and strap it up. Okay, so now that we have the strap, we're gonna go ahead and thread both sides through, one on each side. Again, it doesn't matter which side of the seat back cover you use, they are universal. And so once we have these strapped up, we wanna have about six inches of slack on each side, and we want these super close towards the bottom because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wrap these back around and thread them inside these securing tabs. Once that's threaded through the top, we're gonna go ahead and thread it through the bottom as well. Once this is through, that side is now secure and we're gonna do the same with the other side. Okay, so on the same side, we're gonna grab our longer strap 
and we're going to thread this one side through this bottom loop. There are gonna be multiple loops on the side of this Molly seat back, however, right here and here, here and here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the bottom one. Again, having a good amount of slack on the outside, and then we're gonna thread it back through this plastic securing tab. All right, so before we make our fine adjustments, we're just gonna throw it on. Going to unclip the shorter side, wrap it around the seat and clip it back on. Obviously it's gonna be looser, but we're gonna tighten it down later. We're gonna grab the longer one as well, unclip this, and then we're gonna wrap it around the base of the seat. Now we can adjust to where we want it. We're gonna start with how high up on the seat we want it. Where it's at right now is pretty good, but I want to drop it a little bit lower because once it's pressed against, it just sticks up right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give it some more slack. About right there. I'm gonna give it some slack on this side as well. And then that's where I want it height-wise on the seat. Okay, so now that we have the height adjusted to where we want it to be, we're gonna go ahead and come to this strap and we're just gonna tighten it down all the way so it's snug and secure to the back of the seat. How I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna pull these tabs all the way off so our excess loop is released. And then once those are pulled off, I'm just gonna take the two straps and then just tighten them down all the way. Once these are where we want it, I have this side secure. I'm gonna go ahead and re-thread it through this securing tab. Okay, so now that that front is secured, you can tell this is very snug on the back of this seat and we're able to load up all of our gear onto this with all of the possible spots that we can mount these with. It's gonna be super nice to be able to carry Molly panel stuff such as my medic and our Molly panel bags like first aid kits. And so this thing can come in super handy and has a whole lot of slots. The head of someone is secure as well. You can mount a whole bunch of stuff on here and we're super excited to have these on the website now. All right, so we just got that installed done. It was super easy and now you know how to do it. If you want one of these products, just go ahead and click the link in the description below. It'll take you to the product on our website. You can buy either just the headrest, the seat back, or both. Um, and so you can choose which configuration you'd like. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.